and gather us from the nations to give thanks to your holy name and make it our glory to praise you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, your word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, in your struggle against sin, you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding blood. You have also forgotten the exhortation addressed to you as children. My son, do not disdain the discipline of the Lord, or lose heart when reproved by him. For whom the Lord loves, he disciplines. He scourges every son he acknowledges. Endure your trials as discipline. God treats you as his sons. For what son is there whom his father does not discipline? At the time, all discipline seems a cause not for joy, but for pain. Yet later, it brings the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who are trained by it. So strengthen your drooping hands and your weak knees. Make straight paths for your feet that what is lame may not be dislocated, but healed. Strive for peace with everyone, and for that holiness without which no one will see the Lord. See to it that no one be deprived of the grace of God, that no bitter root spring up and cause trouble, through which many may become defiled. The word of the Lord. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear him. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear him. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear him. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows how we are formed. He remembers that we are dust. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear him. But the kindness of the Lord is from eternity to eternity toward those who fear him. And his justice toward children's children among those who keep his covenant. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear him. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Amen. 
My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus departed from there and came to his native place, accompanied by his disciples. When the Sabbath came, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many who heard him were astonished. They said, Where did this man get all this? What kind of wisdom has been given him? What mighty deeds are wrought by his hands? Is he not the carpenter? the son of Mary, and the brother of James and Joseph and Judas and Simon? And are not his sisters here with us? And they took offense at him. Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor, except in his native place and among his own kin and in his own house. So he was not able to perform any mighty deed there, apart from curing a few sick people by laying his hands on them. He was amazed at their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord. This morning our Gospel showcases a sad dynamic in human life. And the dynamic is this, that oftentimes familiarity creates a kind of blindness, a blindness toward that which we are familiar. The people of the Lord's native place were familiar with him They thought they knew him. They saw him grow up as a boy working at his adopted father's Joseph's side as a carpenter. They thought they had him sized up. But when Jesus begins his ministry, when he begins to reveal who he really is, the people who grew up around him take offense at him. They are blind and resistant to the newness that they're seeing, to the truth that they're seeing, because they're wrapped up in their preconceptions born of familiarity. That dynamic can be a part of our lives as well, sadly. Sometimes the people closest to us, the people with which we're most familiar, are people whose gifts and whose special character are not seen by us. They're just the person who grew up next door or maybe even our family members. And that dynamic can take hold of our relationship with God and the church as well. Sometimes people who grow up in the church, cradle Catholics, Think they understand this Roman Catholicism thing. I've been around it my whole life. There's nothing new. I've sized up the church. I've sized up Christ. But that's a dangerous, dangerous place to be. We are called each and every day by God to open our eyes to Him who may be familiar to us, but is always new always fresh, always eager to reveal something more about his love and mercy. Sometimes it's a a wonderful thing to meet a new convert to the faith, someone who sees this Catholic life of ours with fresh eyes, and to listen to them speak of what they see and experience in the Mass, what they see and experience in the sacraments, can open our eyes to what we've been blind to, what our familiarity has blinded us to. 
that beyond these familiar scenes of this familiar church, amazing things are happening. God is present here. God is powerfully present here. And we are called to see him. May our familiarity with Christ, his church, may our familiarity with the people in our lives not blind us to the glory shining there, to the gift that God wants to show us through them, through his church. May our eyes be open today so that we may not take offense at the newness and the glory that Christ wants to give us. Turning to our loving God, we lift up our prayers and petitions. That the church may grow in discovering new ways to share its rich message in treasures and attract and hold the hearts of young people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. That those who work to protect the unborn, as well as children, who are abused or neglected, may be blessed with the grace and strength needed to continue doing their good work. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. The parents who struggle to provide for their children and protect them from harm may seek guidance from the model of the Holy Family. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our prayer. prayer that our faith community may offer kind words, gentle guidance, and prayers to young people discerning the evocation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who have died may be at peace as they behold the face of God, the Father in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. And most especially for Alice Deneen, for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, look with kindness and compassion on your people, whom your Holy Spirit has gathered here to yourself. Hear and answer the prayers we offer, for we offer them in and through our Lord Jesus Christ, who opens the eyes of the blind and lives and reigns forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink.
pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. O Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in the company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Sean, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, 
At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Kindly join in the communion antiphon found on page 808 of the Missals. Let your face shine on your servant. Save me in your merciful love, O Lord. Let me never be put to shame, for I call on you. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. the blood of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Mm -hmm. The body of Christ. 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 May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The body of Christ. 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 
the body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended.